Es un gusto poder dialogar ahora con John Cowal, que es presidente para América de Varian Medical System, empresa dedicada al desarrollo de software y tecnología para el tratamiento de radioterapia. Qué gusto, John. Hola. Hola. Thank you for having me here today, Guillermo. Tenemos una serie de preguntas para ti. Looking forward to it. ¿Cuáles han sido los avances significativos en radioterapia en los últimos 10 años? Yes, technology has grown so dramatically in the last 10 years. Radiation therapy is no different. Several of the areas that are important uh, are you know, the impact that they have on cancer patients. The first has to do with the imaging. So the ability to have a computer tomography, a CT image directly on the machines allows us the ability to very clearly figure out where the tumor is and as importantly, determine where all the healthy structures are as well. This is very important. Secondly, the ability to be able to um, deliver the dose very accurately with surgeon-like prescription is very important. A lot of hardware and software developments have allowed us to do this. And then finally, developments in the utilization of software, artificial intelligence and other areas have allowed us to dramatically reduce the uh, time from, the, from when the patient is diagnosed with cancer to when they are treated. So these are very, very important areas to be able to uh, improve the overall patient experience during treatment and increase the access to care of this technology to lots of patients. ¿Y estos avances qué implicancias tienen en el tratamiento de los pacientes y qué implicancias tienen en los resultados? Wonderful question. Um, the company I work for, Varian, our mission is how do we create a world without fear of cancer? And to us, our goal is to make sure with these new technologies that we are able to very accurately target the tumor while minimizing the damage to all of the healthy structures. So what this allows us to do is maximize the patient's quality of life by controlling the tumor, but also minimizing any of the side effects or damages to the patients. So what this allows us to do is maximize the patient's quality of life as well. So you can imagine uh, by minimizing um, the impact of the patient's life, whether they're in retirement or they have to go back and forth to work, our goal is to make sure that we maximize that patient's quality of life and allow them to sustain the same activity level that they had prior to treatment, uh, while they're treating and being in treatment and while they have uh, post-treatment. This new capability also allows us, the clinicians, the ability to accelerate the treatment. So instead of the patients oftentimes having to go for 10, 20 or 30 treatments, this now uh, new treatment allows the, the doctors the ability to be able to maybe treat in three, five, 10 or 15 sessions based on the type of cancer that the patient has. So it really allows the ability to uh, increase that quality of life for the patients during treatment. ¿Qué importancia tiene tratarse en centros de tecnología avanzada y con personal calificado? Incredibly uh, important question. So we will always continue to have the passion to create new technologies. But if we don't have key clinicians and sites that are very passionate about how to implement these technologies to make a major impact on patients, it's of limited value. So we need these uh, key cutting edge technology centers to be able to partner with so that they can very quickly accelerate and adopt these technologies to have an impact on patients very quickly. In addition to this, it's not just the impact of the uh, treatment for that patient at that facility. It's also how do we expand this even beyond that center? So these cutting edge technology centers create a different environment where other centers and communities are taught how to utilize this. In order to do this, these cutting edge centers have to have the best staff that are world trained, uh, you know, from the best centers around the world. And this is a very important part of our uh, success in making sure we take care of cancer patients. ¿Qué significa para Varian que CETAC Juncal se haya desarrollado, se haya localizado en Argentina? Yeah, incredibly important. I have been in this role as uh, president of the Americas Geography for the last eight years. Um, I had the luxury of visiting Argentina a few years ago, and I've seen the challenges economically and inflation that you've had in Argentina. So having centers uh, like San Antonio Juncal and the incredible leadership of Diego Maruco to bring world-class technology uh, to this facility is incredible. So combining great clinicians with great technology, and you have our best technology. You have these uh, 
uh, machines that we call TrueBeam, as well as Halcyon. So literally, um, your facility has the ability to be able to treat with the best clinicians and the best technology and allow that great capability for all patients across Argentina. ¿Por qué CETAC Juncal es un importante centro de referencia para Varian? Well, as I mentioned, having the world-class uh, staff, that's very important, number one. So the first stage is to implement the technology, to bring the technology in and to be able to utilize it to have this dramatic impact on cancer patients. And that's already happened. So given that hope to so many uh, patients already has happened, but now the next phase is upon us. So having that staff that has just the incredible passion and the heart to utilize their experiences and teach others how to implement this technology uh, is so, so important to make sure that we can proliferate this technology for the masses. So the first thing is we have to make sure that any of these new cutting edge centers uh, like San Antonio and Cal uh, have very, very high quality standards because they are the ones that end up teaching others how to utilize this. So ever since COVID, we know that everyone certainly has the aspiration to be treated in their local community. So the impact that San Antonio and Cal has is dramatic, not only in teaching others around and across Argentina how to utilize the technology, but also across other parts of Latin America. Muchas gracias. Han sido muy valiosas sus respuestas. Thank you, Guillermo, for your time today. Enjoyed spending time with you.